Welcome to Auction Version 4, the latest event management software tool from Auction Systems. In this video in the report series, I will show you how to filter and refine the selection criteria so that the report contains the records you need. To get to Reports, on the main Home Task ribbon, click Reports. Once you've selected a report format as a starting point, as described in the previous video, you will see a screen like this. The preview of one of the records is on the top of the page, which you can turn off by clicking On Demand. The records that currently will be included in the report will appear in the grid on the right, and the number of records in this grid will be indicated at the top of the grid. To modify the selection criteria for the records that will be included, you must open this top panel, which is the Group Sort panel. If the panels all happen to be open and you're not sure you're seeing the Group Sort panel, click the Panels Closed button on the ribbon and the panel you're looking for will be the first one under the preview if the preview is showing or the first panel under the ribbon if the preview is turned off. Click on the closed panel to open it. This is the open group sort panel with the preview turned on. The group sort choices are on the right and these will be discussed in the next video in this series. Let's look at the left side of this panel. This first column in the panel are your filtering choices. This screenshot happens to be for a names report, so the choices for filtering are about names. But if this were an items report, you would have silent, live, retail, etc. as your choices. Right now, all the name choices are chosen because they are all dark brick colored. Clicking on any of these buttons will turn it to a lighter pinkish color, which will mean that you're filtering out records that are only marked as that choice. Remember that a name record can be marked as any, some, or all of these choices. So unchecking one of the choices will only remove the records that are only marked as the button you are unchecking. For example, if you're not interested in including volunteers in this report, unclicking the Volunteers button will remove any record that is only marked as a volunteer. But if one of your volunteers is also a bidder, that record will still be in the grid on the right because bidders are still included in your filter. If you uncheck a button, if there are any records only marked as that choice, the number of records displayed in the grid on the right will go down. You can also modify the list of names by refining to ones that still fit the broad filter or filters selected, but are narrowed down to a smaller subset. To see the refinement choices, click the down arrow in this refinement section. Here are the refinement choices for names. To select a refinement, just click on it. You'll notice that I chose to keep all name records in my list because all my filter buttons are still solid dark brick, but I have added a balance due refinement. When you pick a refinement, often there are further choices to make for that specific refinement. In this case, the balance due choice is any amount, so my report will include all name types and anyone in those name types who have a balance due of any amount, including zero. If I wanted to see people of any type with a zero balance due, meaning they have paid for any of their purchases or cash donations, I would change the selection to zero. Or if I want to see people of any name type who still owe for something, I could click non-zero. Or if I'm looking for people who owe a certain monetary range, I can click that button and then fill in the start and end range in the fields below. I can also add another refinement to the selected records. Having the AND button selected before choosing the refinement will mean that the list of records in the grid will be records that fit the filter and the first refinement and also the second refinement. Clicking the OR button will mean that the list will include records that fit the first refinement or the second refinement or both. You can even include more refinements to further drill down the report to just the records you want to report on. The next video in the report series will be for grouping and sorting the records in the report. Thank you for joining us.